everybody welcome back today we are going to be starting um, a painting project we are going to be making spider web color wheels and this is just perfect because it's spooky season right now so we're gonna get spooky with these spider webs so the supplies that you're going to need are a white piece of paper <clears throat> A black piece of paper, a scissors, pencil, glue, a paintbrush, and then we are going to need some paint. You are going to need blue, yellow, and red, and white and black. Okay. You also might want to grab some paper towels for cleaning your brush and this is a styrofoam meat tray but you could also use like a paper plate or something for mixing your colors on and then we also should get a little bucket or container for water for cleaning our brushes so to start I'm gonna move all of this out of our way this we are making this color wheel because color is so important. We use it in all of our art projects most of the time. It's very rare that you have an art project that doesn't have color. And color is one of the elements of art, which there are seven of those. Other ones are texture, form, line, space, value, and shape. So we're going to be working with color today. And if you saw on my palette, we have yellow, blue, and red, which are the primary colors. Primary colors are colors that cannot be made from a combination of other colors. They are red, yellow, and blue. That means if we wanted to mix those colors, we would not be able to because they are primary. So, we are going to use these primary colors to make our secondary colors and our tertiary colors, okay? And then we are going to use black to make shade, which is a color plus black. We are going to be using white to make tone or a tint, which is a color plus white and then we're going to be using our white and black mixed together to make a gray which we will use to make a tone tone is a color plus gray so let's grab this out of our way so first thing you're gonna do is grab your white piece of paper um, try to grab one that's kind of a little bit heavier duty because we're gonna be painting on it and we are going to make this paper into a perfect square. So what you're going to do is grab the corner here. And you are going to fold the corner so it fits perfectly onto this edge. Okay. And then you are going to cut off this excess right here. So we are going to, to be making our spider web right now that we are going to be painting on, okay? So we're going to cut that off, so then if we unfold this, we should have a perfect square. So you're going to get rid of this, okay? Also, you're going to want to fold, whoo, paper is all over the place, fold your paper the other direction too so you have four perfect triangles here okay we're going to use those as our guides so let's grab our pencil and we are going to divide this square into 12 even sections so the first thing i'm doing right now is drawing a line where those creases were and then in each of our triangles, we are gonna kind of eyeball it and draw each 
of the four triangles in two thirds. Doesn't have to be perfect, just try to do the best you can. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And if it's a little off, that's fine because it'll just make your spider web have extra character. Okay, so after you divide each fourth in two thirds, right? Because this was a fourth, and now I have it in thirds. You should have 12 sections all together, okay? So now we are gonna make the different sections of our web. So you're gonna need one, two, three, four different sections in each of your 12 different slices, okay? So how you're gonna do this is you're gonna start closest to the middle and you are going to kind of make little half circles and you're gonna do it all the way across in each section, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're gonna go and do the next section. So this is gonna be my second section. Okay. And then you're gonna do that again. So this is gonna be my third section. Just keep, sometimes it's easier to turn your paper as you go to. Just gonna keep making half circles, okay? Okay, and then we need, we need four, right? Because we need one, two, three, four. So we have one, two, three, so then we gotta go around one more time. Okay. You don't have to go all the way to the edge of the paper if you want to, but you're gonna wanna get your sections big enough so you have room to paint. Okay. All right, so now I have all the sections that I need and my spider web is drawn. So now what we're gonna do is label each section. So to start, we are gonna start by labeling the primary colors, okay? Does everybody remember what the primary colors are? Primary colors are the ones that are on our palette right now, so red, yellow, and blue. So, I am gonna label my primary color. So I'm gonna put red right here. Then I'm gonna count three sections. So one, two, three. And in the fourth section, I'm gonna put yellow. You can write the whole word or you can just write the initial, it's up to you. But we're labeling sections. And when you're writing this, make sure you write it in your extra space because you have one, two, three, four sections that we're gonna paint and then in the extra space you can write this. Okay, so now I'm gonna count from yellow. One, two, three. And then the fourth one, I'm gonna write blue. Okay? So next we're gonna label our secondary colors. Our secondary colors are colors that are mixed with two primaries, okay? So our secondary colors would be in between our primaries. So we're gonna count one, two, so this section right here is right in between red and yellow. So red and yellow, if you mix them together, equals orange. So we're gonna write orange right here. This is gonna be our orange section. And then if we flip to this side, we have blue and red. So we're gonna go one, two, right in the middle, between blue and red, we are going to have purple, or also known as violet, okay? And then down here, we have blue and yellow, so we're gonna count one. This one's our middle section. Blue and yellow equal green. So we are gonna write green right here, okay? So our primary colors we did first, then we did our secondary colors. Now we're gonna do colors that are called tertiary colors. Tertiary colors are colors that are made by combining a primary color and a secondary color together. So our tertiary colors are gonna be the leftover spots on here. So if we look at this section, it's a tertiary color. It's gonna be red and orange combined. 
Normally, the names of the tertiary colors have the primaries first and the secondaries second. So this one is red, orange. So that's our tertiary color. This one is going to be yellow, orange. Remember, putting that primary color first. This one is going to be yellow, green. This one is going to be blue green. Okay. And then this one is going to be blue purple. And this one up here is going to be red purple. Okay. So now we have all of our tertiary colors labeled on here. Okay, so make sure that you're writing all of them here because it'll help you when we start painting. Okay, so now we have four sections, one, two, three, four, that we are going to apply paint to. So if we look at our example here, you can see the four different sections. So right now, on the blue square, I'm going to label which color goes where. So, first one we have is tint. We are going to put tint in the fourth square. So I'm going to label this on blue so then I can look back at it. The next one I don't have a card for but it, we're going to call it hue. Hue is the color at its purest form. So that's where we are going to put straight blue from our palette is in the hue. Okay, Hue is color at its purest form. The next one we are going to do is tone. Remember what tone is? Tone is when you add gray to a color. So tone is going to be blue and gray. Okay, and then our last one is shade. So we're going to put shade all the way in here. Okay, so you can label this on all of them. I'm just going to label it in blue because blue is easy to cover up the words when you paint. But it's going to be the same in each square. So this square is going to be my green hue. Okay. This square right here is going to be my yellow orange shade. This square right here is going to be my red hue. This square right here is going to be my red purple tint. Okay. So now that we have it all mapped out how we want it, we're going to grab our palette, okay? And we are going to need our paper towels and our water, okay? Let's grab this so we can see what we're doing. All right, so what I recommend doing is doing your primary sections and your secondary sections first, okay? So I'm gonna start with primaries. So I'm gonna start with blue. So I'm gonna take blue straight out of the palette and put it on my hue. Now when you're painting it in the hue section, you don't have to paint it all the way to the edge. If you look here, I kinda left a little space by the edge because that is where the spider web is, right? Okay, so I'm just painting in this section with the correct color. And then I'm gonna wash my brush. You're gonna have to wash your brush after each one. Okay, now let me grab my red. Red is gonna go straight red. My hue of red is gonna go right here. So I'm going to paint it in here, leaving a little bit of white space. Okay. Then my last one is yellow. So my yellow hue is going to go right here. Okay. Leaving a little bit of white space around that pencil mark to look like a web. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my palette, and I don't have green, purple, or orange, the secondary colors, on my palette, so I'm going to have to mix them. Okay, 
So whenever you're mixing yellow to in a color, like to make orange, you're gonna need more yellow than you are gonna need red. Same with green, you're gonna need more yellow than you are blue to make green. So let's make green really quick. I'm gonna bring some yellow over here. And when you're mixing colors, always start with your lighter color first. Okay, I washed my brush. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of blue, mix it in here. Okay. I'm looking for a good green color. I think that turned out perfect. Did you guys see how I used so much more yellow than I did green, blue? And that's what I'm gonna do to make my green, okay. So now that I have green, I can put that in my green hue spot, which is right here, okay. Leaving a little bit of white space. And as you guys can see, is you don't need a lot of paint. So when you're mixing paint, you don't have to mix a whole lot of the specific um, color that you're making because you're only filling a little, little area, okay? So now I need to mix purple. So I'm gonna grab a bunch of red, bring it here, okay? Now I'm gonna bring in some blue. Mix it really good. Okay, what do you think? Mm, I don't know, I think I need a little more blue, so I'm just gonna try to grab a little bit more blue. All right, I think that looks much better. So this is my purple that I made, okay? So I'm going to take that purple and I'm going to put it in my purple hue spot, okay? So that's going to go right here. Remember, leaving a little bit of white on the edge for my spider web. Perfect, okay? Washing my brush off good. Make sure your brush is, to make sure your brush is clean, rinse it in your dish and then rub it on here. See how it still is kind of red? That means it's not quite clean, so now I'm gonna do it again. There we go, that's better. Okay. So now we just need orange. So we're gonna grab a bunch of yellow again. Okay. A little bit more, and then I'm gonna grab a little bit of red from this corner here. And we're gonna mix it up. When you're mixing, twirl your brush and stuff. That always works good. Perfect, I think this is the perfect orange color that I need right here. So I'm gonna take that orange and I'm gonna plop it in my orange hue spot. Okay. Leaving a little bit of white space on the edges, like I said before. Okay, then we're gonna rinse our brush and clean it off. Okay, so now, before I do my tertiary colors, I'm gonna do the different sections for each of um, my primaries and secondaries. So I'm gonna start by doing tint. So if you remember, tint is white plus a, the color. So if I wanna do my tint for, let's say, green, I'm gonna grab some white. And this is where you might wanna grab that extra plate or whatever you want to use to mix the colors on so your palette doesn't get all gunky. So I grabbed a bunch of white and a little bit of my green. I'm going to mix it here and this is going to make my tint of green. So there's my tint of green. Now my tints go on the outer section, the fourth section. So then I'm gonna paint my tint, leaving a little bit of white. Okay. And there's my tint, okay? So now I'm gonna do my shade of green. So for my shade of green, I'm gonna grab a bunch of green and just a little dot of black. 
Remember, you can always add more. Black is a very heavy color, so you don't need a lot of it. It's very strong. White is a very weak color, so whenever you're making tint, you're gonna need a lot more white than you're gonna need of whatever color you're mixing. And when you're making shade, you're gonna need a lot more of your color than black. So I got my shade, so now I'm gonna, my, my green plus black, I'm gonna put in my section leaving a little bit of white space, and then I'm gonna wash my brush off. Okay, now, to make our tone, we're gonna to need to make a gray. So here is some black. Remember how I said you need a lot more white than black? I put a little too much black, so now I'm gonna mix this so I can make a gray. So then I'll use the same gray for all of my tones. I can just grab it from here. So let's mix that. I think that looks like a pretty good gray. So now I need to make my green tone. So I'm going to grab some gray, put it on my mixing palette or paper plate or whatever you want to use. Okay, let me wash off my brush. Now I'm going to grab my green again, put a little dot on there, mix it in, and this should make my green tone, which is gonna be like a grayish green. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna take it off my palette and put it on here. It looks like I probably could have actually put a little bit more green in it, because it just looks gray. So for the tone, you kinda of probably are gonna to wanna to do a 50-50 mixture of your color and gray. Okay, I'm gonna take that, put it on here. There we go. So now I have a whole slice of my pie done. I have my green tint, hue, tone, and shade. So you're gonna wanna do that with every single color that we have, okay? After you have it all done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors and you are going to cut out, after you have the whole thing painted, all your sections painted, cut out your spider web, okay? Just like that. Where your line is, I would leave a little chunk of the web so where it attaches. You can see how I did that here, okay? Then you are gonna take your black construction paper, okay? And we're gonna do that thing again so we can get it the right size. Fold it in half, okay? Then we are going to cut it off. Okay. So this is what we are gonna use to mount our spider web on so it looks pretty cool, okay? Then if with the stuff that you have left, cut off a little square, and then you can use this square to cut out your spider for your spider web. So I have a little spider that I drew on here already. I'm gonna cut them out. Spider has eight legs, so you're gonna have to make a little creature with eight legs. And you can make your spider however you want. You can make him look really realistic. You can make him look cartoony. Basically, the simplest spider you can make is just a dot with eight legs. And we'll get what you're trying to make. Okay? So then you're gonna cut out your spider. Put him on your spider web wherever you want. And then we're gonna glue everything down. Okay? And then you are done. There's our, our color wheel spider web. After you're done, remember to take a picture and turn it in. Can't wait to see how they turn out. Have a great day.